Harmon. We are now entering the Daphnis system en route to your audition on Ruby NO3. Status as normal. Except for our new guest. Huh. These don't do anything. Shodan, be nice. I know he's a little strange, but he seems to know a lot about musical instruments. Besides, he might be able to help me get a spot in the Rapiano 3 Symphony Orchestra. What exactly is this Joker's story, anyway? I thought you'd never ask! I am 4-4, an immortal and omnipotent being, the guardian of the space time signature continuum! I've been around as long as Gregorian chant, and I'm nearly twice as exciting. Oh. And I've come here to teach you, young pup, everything you need to know about the symphony orchestra. Are you ready to learn about... The Alto Flute? I sure am! Hmm. Perhaps it's better to have an old friend help me out. Oh, wow! Who could it be? Only time will tell! <laughs> oh, uh, where am I? How did I get here? Hi, Amelia! It's great to see you again! It's great to see you too again, Harmon, but where am I? You're in the Hall of Musical Discovery, where we've been sent so I can learn about the alto flute. Oh, well, it's a good thing I just happen to have mine with me right here. Wow! It's kind of like a regular flute, or even a piccolo, except much bigger. That's right. It is bigger than the regular flute and the piccolo, which you've already learned about. So since it is bigger, do you think it's going to play higher notes or lower notes? Oh, I remember this. Bigger instruments play lower notes. That's exactly right. This is one of the biggest flutes in the flute family. And how do you play the alto flute? Well, it's exactly the same, really, as the regular flute and the piccolo. We have this little hole at the beginning of the flute here at the top, and you blow across that just like you're blowing across the top of a bottle. And then you move your fingers up and down on the keys on the rest of the instrument like that, and that will make the notes go lower or higher. Wow, what a rich sound! So this is an alternative head joint to the alto flute, made out of the exact same material, but it is there to help out anyone who has slightly shorter arms. Like me! Exactly! So, this is a great big instrument, and you do need to have pretty long arms to reach all the way to the end once it's all the way up. And so this guy helps you if your arms aren't quite as long. Yeah, they aren't. <laughs> so you can pop that thing on there, and it sounds just as good as if you have the big one. Orchestra. Most of the time the alto flute is playing kind of low, mellow, moody music, lots of quiet stuff. We can't be nearly as loud on the alto as we can on the regular flute or especially on the piccolo. So whenever anybody has to play the alto flute in the orchestra, everybody else, all the other instruments, have to be really quiet. Shh, other instruments. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll play the alto flute for my audition on Rapiano 3. Ooh, that's a great idea. Thanks, Amelia. Well, Harmon, did you learn about the alto flute? Yeah, what a great instrument! Would you like to hear some music featuring the alto flute? Oh, would I ever! The Kingston Symphony is working on a piece by Austin Wintory as we speak. I want you to listen for the following things. Sherman, write this down. That's definitely not my name. Pish. So, this piece begins with a musical idea that the cello plays. Oh, I remember the cello. And then, that same idea is played by the alto flute. 
After that, the alto flute and the cello play the theme at the same time. This is how the composer tells a musical story. So, when you hear the alto flute and the cello play together, raise your paw. Okay, you got it. Right then. Kingston Symphony, take it away. It's so rich and beautiful! Now approaching the Tuonela system. Eight sectors <laughs> remaining until we arrive at Rippy N03. We'll be at the audition soon. Good thing I've chosen my instrument. I'm going to play the alto flute! Oh, really? Are you sure you don't want to play the English horn? The what? Will Harmon learn about all the instruments in the orchestra? And which one will she decide to play for her audition? Tune in next time to find out.